And welcome back to Culture Night here. I'm Norman Guinness, and with me now I have uh, John Cummins. He's a poet, and he's performing at the Oxfam Books for Culture Night. Hello, uh, how are you? I don't know. Um, give us a bit of background to yourself. Uh, well, I'm living out in Rohini at the minute. Uh, used to live, I grew up in Darndale, Coolock, that's where I'm from, and I've been writing about 20 years or so, kind of, you know, and I've uh, been performing about two and a half years or so mm -hmm. around town. Okay, now, just to get something in for the Stag's Head pub that you have gone on all the time. Uh, that's, uh, the Stag's Head is, I suppose that's the brown bread mixtape. It's one of the many nights that are out and about there now at the minute. Uh, that, goes, that takes place the last Wednesday of every month mm -hmm. in the Stag's Head. There are other opportunities there and free nights there. Monday night is a, a night called the Monday Echo. That's mm -hmm. in the International Bar. Uh, Tuesday, the last Tuesday of a month, there's a place uh, called Cobblestone, I don't know if you know, over in I do, Smithfield. Yeah. Uh, the tongue box that's called. Uh, I'm probably forgetting others, but there's, okay. there's, you know, there's something. Can I ask you how hard it is uh, for a poet? Because the perception of a poet, does that mean about that that annoys you? Well, it took me a long time to, I suppose, admit it to myself that that's what I am, you know, it's who mm -hmm. I am. Um, I don't know, it's the pauper poet on the page, I suppose it's very true, you know. Okay. Yeah. But the business of Moon and June and stuff like that, they, you know, the, the, the regular cliches about poetry. The high brownness of it, perhaps. Yeah, so yeah, it, like theatre maybe or. Like well, it's opera. a, it's a, it's a, it's a lovely thing when it, it, you, you learn how to listen. You know, if you go to see somebody, that maybe read their stuff. You know, you can, and you, you either like it or you don't like it. It's mm -hmm. either something that connects with you or it doesn't connect with mm -hmm. you. You know, just, but it teaches you to listen. I think you know, maybe you know, which yeah. isn't a bad thing. But it, it's in Ireland and the great writers we have here and mm -hmm. the, the culture we have of poetry and as I say, literary and, and theatre as well. Um, you'd imagine people would be more accepting, but I get the feeling sometimes they're not, if you know what I mean, unless you're well known. Well, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Uh, I suppose you have to just uh, start at the bottom and work your way up, you know. And, yeah. OK, well, we talk a little bit later, because now you're going to do a little piece for us okay. of your own, and uh, I want everybody to sit back and just listen. <laughs> OK, uh, this is called uh, Dub Rap. Maybe it's because I'm a Dubliner and that I love Dublin town. I wake up in Balia Ahaclea and it shatters my soul sometimes when I see it. Like, is it for real or is it an idea? Can I screw it together like a yoke from Ikea? I wake up in Balia Ahaclea and it shatters my cree sometimes when I see you like a, a board in a cage and I just want to free you like a word on the page and I want a melody I walk through the Dublin Balia, the town full of drugs and the alcohol yeah, the boardwalk junkies, the bank link beggars, the muppet monkeys, the insulin feckers I walk through the clear balia ahe, but never in the places I know I know are the same shit's done by the Gardashi Akana or the elected dopes over there in the Dahlia. Yeah. The hometown can hammer the cow down, but we can rise up above the ground and the pound down. I walk through the capital of Ireland, it's the OQ, with a workforce up for harm and the many heads are down with nothing to inspire them. I've seen their eyes, the anger and the fire in them I live in. The suburb of the D5, it's an odd number, so I guess I'm from the north side. Coolock, Darndale, Bell, Camp, Mo, View. These were spots where once I did float through, I've seen it. With me on to Sewell, yeah, how folk chase the cash, cause the lack of it rules, yeah, I've heard it. With me on to Clewis, on the jaw, on the dart, on the bus, in the Lewis, or the vicious. Pathetic chin waggery, the smile in the face with the dose of backstabbery people. Begrudging other people, robotic grease balls, ODing on diesel, the hometown can hammer the count down, but we can rise up above the ground and the pound down. Maybe it's because I'm a Dubliner that I love Dublin town. I have to say, I wish you had a big audience here to give you a round of applause because that was terrific. And I can gather a lot of your stuff comes from your environment. Well, yeah. Yes, yeah, I suppose mm -hmm. so, yeah, absolutely. And inspirationally, yeah. when did you first feel in yourself... About like, that particular piece? Do? Or no, all, uh, as an all-round poet. Well, um, like, I, like I was saying, like I, I suppose I was writing when I was in school. I was caught writing at the back of the English class, and, and okay. rather than be punished, I was 
pushed, if you know what I mean, mm -hmm. but not in the class, as it were, you know. Okay. I was given a notebook and a pad and, and what have you. And uh, I've just been writing since, so what was the question? <laughs> so no, just thinking that, well, that's a good kind of encouragement to get. Yeah, oh, absolutely, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. And I, I would encourage anyone to, to I won't say become a poet. I think that's probably, well, I suppose that's maybe what happens, but I, I think to, to the writing side of it, you know, whether you can spell words correctly or incorrectly, it doesn't really matter whether it rhymes, it doesn't rhyme, mm -hmm. you know, once it comes out of your head onto the page, it frees up room for, for more of the stuff, okay. and it's a, it's a nice journey that way. Uh, you're performing at the Oxfam Books, what time are you on it? The Strider and the Arena Radio on RT1 later. Uh, I'm not between, uh, that show got, starts at half seven. I it's think. my favourite show, so, so we're already so half, half seven to half eight. Yeah. And I think I'm on sometime between like 10 past eight and 16 minutes past eight, something okay. like that. You know. And ordinary, you can remind us again when you're on regularly in the Stag's Head. It's no, that's, I wouldn't be regularly on there. That's uh, that's invited uh, kind of uh, guests. Uh, I do, go, I do try to go into town Monday night, the Monday Echo, or just have an okay. open mic night at the end of it. Invited okay. guests, open mic night. That's kind of the way most of the the, the events, shall we say, take place at work. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very inspirational. I'll have to get you in on the radio ah, as well. Very kind. Thanks. Okay, John Cummins, thank you very much. Thanks, Dan.